Okay, today is May 32018 at 6 p.m. This 11 a old female schnauzer had just been operated about one hour ago and uh, the operation was a spay. As you can see, the operation site is, is below and it's a, it's a big, big wound there to remove the swollen uterus. This operation was done by Dr. Daniel Singh as an emergency because the dog's temperature was dropping to 37.1 degrees. And so he had diagnosed close by Metra. Now, you see this uterus here. And uh, this uterus is the swollen with pus. The left uterus is the, on the left side, which is a much thicker bigger than the right uterus, right uterus on this side, okay, and uh, both are swollen with pus. Now if, if, if we do really cut it out, we really use a scalpel to incise it, you will see yellow, no, we don't do yellow, yellow pus coming out. Now the reason it is swollen is because the cervix is closed. So when the cervix is closed, the pus cannot come out, and so the owner didn't see any discharge, but sees a uh, a dog with uh, diarrhea, that is the main complaint. She, she complained that the dog had diarrhea for two days and was lethargic. So now we will continue with the history and the supporting evidence to confirm close parametra by the vet. Okay, so we start now the history. The history first. The dog Diarrhea, no. Yeah, the dog came in yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, mm -hmm. with the co with the owner mm -hmm. complaints of two days diarrhea. Yeah, okay. okay, so I find uh, physical examination. Physical examination. The doctor uh, palpated the abdomen. Mm, the abdomen palpation. Hands with the distension and it's painful. Mm, so we send for X-ray. We sent for x-ray To uh, check on the abdomen, yeah mm, On the x-ray, you can see that this side The left uterus, the big swelling Big one Is the left uterus with pus And the, this is other one is the, the right, right uterus, uterus can also be seen because it's swollen And has pus also yeah. And you have seen the uterus taken out just now Earlier on uh, Okay, then so what's the diagnosis from the x-ray? From the x-ray, you yeah. can see that uh, the diagnosis. by mitra and mm. it's closed. This diagnosis uh, has closed by mitra. Mm, because no. the cervix is closed. Uh, so then the, the history there's of no, heat. No dis mm. discharge. Mm, then the other view, there's another view, the ventral dorsal view. The ventral dorsal view will be I think we have to where is it? The whole first yeah. the ventral dorsal view. We will put it down first. Then bring up the other view. Okay, the ventral dorsal view shows also come explain that which is the left uterus and which is the right. So this, this one is the left uterus. Mm, which is much swollen than the right one. Then the right one is this one. Mm. So x-rays and abdominal palpation of pain and swelling of the abdomen indicates a close parameter. Now, to support it, what's the heat period? The heat was? When the was the dog having heat? It was two months ago. Mm, two months ago, yeah. Usually parameter mm. to occur uh, after two months of one to two months after the heat, yeah. Period. Okay, now there's another test, huh? Another test, the blood test. Okay, what? What happened to the blood test? Okay, so for the tot uh, total white cell count, which usually should be high for this kind of cases. Oh, pyometra, yeah. Yeah, but here is um not on normal range, but mm. the nutrifilia, the nutri 
heals, which is the first line of defense, is high. And then uh, platelets are low. Indicating, indicating toxemia. toxemia. Now, the, the other findings of abnormal, abnormal, abnormal findings? Abnormal findings is uh, the urea and creatinine, mm. which is high. Let's show the values. How high is it, the urea? How many times? Urea is 20.5, mm. which it should be 4.2 to 6.3 only. Mm. And creatinine is 274 which it should be 89 to 177 only. What does it mean? Um, it's having acute kidney failure Correct. because Correct. of the toxemia. Toxic from the, yeah. the pass in the uterus going to the bloodstream and going to the kidneys. So one of the causes of kidney failure is diarrhea. I mean, one of the results. Huh? So diarrhea doesn't mean it's due to uh, eating the wrong food. In this case, it's due to close by metra. Okay, what's next? So af after mm. the surgery, mm. doc doctor's advice is to hospitalize for at least three days mm. to monitor and to mm. make sure that the double treatment. Has what's the treatment? What's uh, the treatment of close by metra? No. The treatment of cross metra is to spay the dog. Spay the dog. Uh, and what was being done? Anesthetic and how long was the surgery? Thirty minutes. Hmm? How long was the surgery? Thirty minutes. Hmm. The surgery needs to be fast. Anesthesia is only gas. Gas anesthesia, right? Uh, so uh, very very careful, close monitoring, and also IV drip. And so that is a surgical treatment, uh. And so the next one? antibiotics, on, uh, ongoing antibiotics mm. before we did the surgery. Okay, so after that, going home? So, mm. doctor's advice the is to hospitalize yeah, mm. for a few days, at least three days. Mm. And then give continue the antibiotics injection for one more day. And then so anti-inflammatory. Mm. And then um, the home medication for mm. the owner to continue for at least 10 days. Mm. Cleaning of the wound and mm. Nothing, no. e collar for the dog. Mm. So as at today, this is the second day, right? And today's operation. The day operation, so you can show show the... We have a scalpel. So we can see that the left uterus is really very much enlarged. But both are, are really distended. Huh? It's the same as in the X-ray. So we just cut a little bit. A bit will do because it's really gory. Huh? Sometimes it should not. Huh? You can see the pus. Okay, that's it. Hmm. The pus is green. It's very toxic. Yeah? Full of bacteria. Okay, so now we conclude. Conclusion? What's your conclusion now? What's your conclusion? Good advice to the other dog owners. What's the advice? That's a vet. No advice? Mm, early, on st on early stage of um, the dog's uh, life, it's better to sterilize them. All right. And if, let's say, they are having um, some problem or they are not in, on their normal self, might as well bring to the vet and have the uh, check up okay. early stage. No, the advice to owners is the best is to sterilize your dog when she's young uh, and you will have not this problem of pyometra. As you can see, the, 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 the discharge is really green. It's terrible and then it's very smelly. Uh. You can understand the smell also. This is one of the worst cases. Uh. We will stop and then uh, that is the advice to new pet owners of dogs.